This is an intensive course, to say the least. One, two, three, three, three. three. one, two. It's six weeks, it's eight hours a day, uh, five days a week. It's, it's not like your normal college course. And it starts the first six weeks of the summer, um, and we run at the professional level. I just love that I'm doing something, you know, bigger than myself, and I just like, you know, doing something good for people and the environment and and everyone that I'm working with. This is a way of life for me. The, the whole point of the Wildland Firefighter Academy is to simulate professional training as close as we possibly can on a college campus. That's why we do it five days a week, that's why we do it eight hours a day. Uh, that's how individuals need to be ready for training when they start their jobs with uh, a wildland fire agency. At the Wildland Academy we learn a lot of stuff in the classroom and outside. Some we're dealing with hoses sometimes, we're cutting lying out in the forest, sometimes we're hiking or even going outside and with the actual engine crews. Are you feeling good? I'm still feeling good. Okay, good. Okay, so I just start getting tired. It's okay to speak up and just say, hey, you know, I need a break. We try to give them engine time or a hose so they can adapt and be on a fire crew, a hand crew, which is tools and chainsaws, or they can be on an engine. Excellent. We go out into the mountains, we go out into the areas that are not as inhabited as with people. When they finish, they should be ready to uh, transition out into the professional workforce right away. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Part of uh, wildland fire in the professional sense is that you have to, uh, in addition to fighting wildland fires, the wildland agencies are also what's referred to as stewards of the land. So they also have to be really involved with vegetation management and forest health. And one of the ways that we uh, do that in the professional workforce is through um, controlled burns or prescribed burns, if you will. Uh, it, it's a technique where you simulate fire uh, in the natural environment before you know, humans came and started suppressing everything. We were cutting in some line and punching in some line with some saws to create control lines for a designated area. We do some hiking and they learn how to properly swing the tools, sharpen, and just overall work with them uh, mentally to prepare them to be out there in this heat. When you're on a fire, it gets very hot. Because it's very different to learn about it in a book and actually doing it. So we get of how the physical aspect of what it's gonna take to, to roll out hose lays and cut line and hike because it's a lot of hiking. So that's what this course is really introducing you to, like getting you an understanding of how it's gonna be out there. You're gonna be uh, tested both academically in the professional workforce as well as have to demonstrate and perform to a certain level of skills. It's just becoming more and more necessary to have wildland fire fighters just because there's just so many fires. So what kind of strengths do they need? First, I would say mentally. They have to be strong. Okay? So you have to mentally be prepared to have somebody scream at you or push you beyond your limits, being away from your family for so long. Sometimes we go two, three weeks without talking to anybody. The first two fires that we went on were uh, smaller fires, um, but we I ate it, so it means initial attack. And those ones, they were small, but the fire was still going when we got there. So, you know, we still felt the heat and the smoke. And I think that's what really gets, you know, new firefighters when they, when they get their first fire, you know, they get all excited and they see the fire and they feel the smoke and I think that, you know, gives them a good idea of, you know, what they're going to be getting into. When you're exhausted after a 16 hour day on the line, fighting fire, you're hot in unbelievable conditions, can you still put a smile on your face at the end of the day? 
Can you wake up the next morning with that smile on your face and say, let's go get this. We're a team. We got this. And I think that, you know, as a new firefighter going into it, the biggest thing you could do for yourself is just to never give up. And if you just keep pushing yourself every day, you'll find that, you know, you'll just improve and get better. Physically, you don't want to be real buff. I can work long, hard hours, stay on my feet for 15 hours straight. Sometimes I don't even sit at lunch because it's easier to stay up. So we work with these students over the course of the six weeks to uh, discuss things like resumes and applications and hiring processes and cycles and interviews and all the fun stuff that comes with wildland firefighting in, in a hiring sense. Uh, so we have a couple options for these students. Um, one of the first options that is made available to these students, and if they're the top performers and they do very, very well since space is limited, they have the opportunity to join the Marauders Fire Crew. Uh, which is a program here at Antelope Valley College. It's kind of a joint venture between AVC and the Inyo National Forest. So the crew cohesion is one of the number one things that brought me here. We honestly care about each other. We get to know each other. We spend time, we put our lives on the line out there. And I know the guy standing behind me will have my back as much as I have his. You know, you'll, you'll hike farther than you ever thought you could and you know, you're going to get, you might get poison oak, you might get bug bites, um, it's hot, it's dry, but honestly at the end of the day and you just, when you're laying down and you're going to go to bed on the dirt <laughs> or whatever, it's, you just feel good and you feel like you accomplished something and you pushed yourself and the cool thing is that you did it with, you know, your family basically. basically you kind of become a family with the crew because you just spend so much time together and you get to know them. And I know some of those things I said doesn't necessarily sound like fun, but it is, it is fun. But it's that personal satisfaction knowing I may have lost 10 houses, but I did everything I could to keep our crew safe, to keep the other firefighters safe and the public safe. So finding satisfaction in there, we have to dig deep, but we find it.